Just like learning to ride a shiny new bike, first-time entrepreneurship can be both exciting and intimidating. The first time out, the concept is totally new. It's wobbly and difficult, and even a little dangerous. Many need to rely on someone else to keep them from falling, till they eventually learn to do it themselves. Later, some pay it forward by mentoring and helping others. Places like Silicon Valley have created an environment where entrepreneurs can quickly and easily go from training wheels to 10 speeds, with people and resources to keep them steady. While elsewhere, this is still a foreign concept. But it wasn't always this way. America's prosperous oil, steel, and auto industries were all started by entrepreneurs. But now, this industrial industrial infrastructure is not driving new jobs, and there's an enormous need for innovation and new businesses between the coasts to move our economy to the next level. People, especially younger generations, are willing and eager to learn, but they need help. Although traditional economic development and business assistance organizations understand the financial value, need for, and importance of entrepreneurs, they don't know how to get people up on two wheels or how to provide a safe place for startups to learn before they wobble into oncoming traffic. That's where a new kind of economic development activity comes in called venture development, which combines the skills and tools similar to venture capital with the goals of economic development including job creation and economic growth that benefits everyone in a community. Public, private, and philanthropic leaders in places like Cleveland, Buffalo, St. Louis, New Orleans, Durham, Detroit, and many others are making great progress in creating healthy entrepreneurial ecosystems that support startup and small business scale-up growth capable of creating jobs and moving economies forward. To learn more about a venture development approach to accelerate your community's economy, visit solutions.jumpstartinc.org.